I am one of 10 children from J.W. Rencher and Alice Louise Rencher. Mom and Dad grew up together in Mississippi, and um, they got married young. He believed in work and taking care of his family. That was what he was taught as a kid, what he believed to the day he passed, that you know, you, a man takes care of his family. He was trying to even get out and work on his lawnmowers when he was on a walker. You know, he would try. That's what he said, if, if I don't try, I won't be able to. He tried right up till he couldn't do it anymore. All during our growing up, he was very active in the church. He would go with the minister to visit people, you know, in nursing homes and the sick and shut in. And for me, he had always said that, you know, he didn't want to go in a nursing home. It was too many of us for him not to be able to stay home. He, he got where he wasn't able to move around as much and he was very stubborn. And it got to where there was really nothing else they could give him to help with his medical issues. So therefore, you know, trying to get him out of the house, into the car, to the hospital, to the doctor appointments, in the winter, in the cold, in the, it was too much for us, too much for him. It tired him out. We decided to go with hospice. Therefore, once we found out about it, we found out that he would be getting someone coming who could prescribe him anything for pain, for infections, for headache, for, you know, whatever the issues. And it was more comfortable for him to stay in the home and be cared for by people who loved him. Yeah, he had, he had more good days than bad days, I think, until towards the end. But he did have a lot of good days because he got to stay home. That's Gina was our doctor. <laughs> you know, she was our, our doctor, really. You know, they would check anything that was going wrong with him. With Gina, we always had access because we could call the number and someone would contact Gina and we'd get an answer. One of the things that we hear from our families when we've had them for a while is we really wish that we had started hospice sooner. Whenever we're allowed to go in earlier in the process with the family like we were with Mr. Rencher, we're able to really help focus on the value of time that that family has and help them to realize what positive things can come at this part of their journey. A lot of times people think that in hospice you have to be homebound, but whenever you're in hospice you are allowed to get out and go. And Mr. Rencher really loved getting out to a shed. He he liked to piddle around the yard and he really enjoyed going to sit on the front porch. He loved to enjoy the sunshine and there were several days when you would go he would be sitting out there under the umbrella. They were all so loving, so kind and still you know our memories of them are just make you smile. Mm -hmm. The experiences, oh he was a rascal. <laughs> our dad was a rascal and soon they step in oh he had the beautiful smile showing all his teeth and oh he liked it they asked oh how old are you I'm 96 you don't look it oh my goodness <laughs> if you're trying to do it alone it's a support that you need mentally physically that peace of mind is it makes a difference it made a difference yeah. right to the end. We needed it and it was there. Hospice was there for us. It was a oh, great dad, great dad.